Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the flywheel fan on this Briggs & Stratton engine, you will need a 5 16 inch nut driver, a 15 16 inch socket, a 5 8 inch spark plug wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, a mallet, and a torque wrench. Before you begin this procedure, make sure the engine has cooled. Use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the air filter cover. Remove the cover and the air filter, then unthread the screws securing the filter base. Pull the choke lever off so you can move the base out of the way. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, unthread the two screws securing the throttle cover plate. Shift the throttle lever to the right so you can detach the plate. You can now unthread the three screws securing the blower housing using the 10 millimeter socket. Set the blower housing aside and detach the spark plug wire and boot from the spark plug. Use the 5 8 inch spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Confirm the engine piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. You can now use the 15 16 inch socket and a mallet to loosen the flywheel mounting nut. Fully unthread the nut and you can remove the starter cup and the old fan. To install the new flywheel fan, align it on the flywheel along with the starter cup. Then thread and tighten the nut. Using the 15 16 inch socket on a torque wrench, torque the nut to 60 foot-pounds. Remove the cord from the cylinder and re-thread the spark plug. Be careful not to damage the threads by over-tightening. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Now reposition the blower housing and re-thread the three mounting screws. Reposition the throttle cover plate and rethread the screws.
Insert the two mounting screws through the air filter base. Then align the base and thread the screws into the carburetor. Replace the choke lever. With the pre-cleaner positioned in the cover, followed by the air filter with its rubber gasket facing outward, align the cover on the base and secure it with the screws. The engine should now be ready for use.